Bienvenidos, Usham Deed, and welcome to this Netacad Introduction to Python course supplemental video tutorial. In this video tutorial, which could be the shortest solution to any of the labs to date, uh, we're going to be focusing on lab 5.1.9.18, where we're going to continue to work with strings. And the title of this lab is Your Own Split. And this can be solved with a single line of code. And so I'm struggling here as I look at the uh, the description for this lab, it says the estimated time is 20 to 25 minutes. It's a medium level of difficulty. Now, here are the objectives. Improve the student's skills in operating with strings using built-in Python string methods. Now, the scenario describes that you already know how split works. Now we want you to prove it. And my reading of this is that what they're saying is that they want you to prove you know how split works by using split, the split uh, method for strings. Your task is to write your own function, which behaves almost exactly like the original split method. Now, it's not telling you to not use the split method. And I guess this is where I am struggling with the instructions because this can be solved with a single line of code using the split method. And I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. But again, it says it should, uh, should accept exactly one argument, which are the function does here by the function definition, right? S-T-R-N-G. It should return a list of words created from the string, divided in places where the string contains white spaces. Well, split is exactly what does that. If I pull up our interactive interpreter here, and I'm using idle, the integrated development and learning environment, we have the code from the activity here. So if I was to say, this is my cool string with an exclamation mark dot split, when you do that, it's going to return a list of each word based on where the spacing occurs. Again, if I was to say, uh, this is my, and then say co space ol string, we're going to get, and we'll say split, we're going to get co and ol separated because, again, there's a space in here. That is what the split method the split string method is doing. It's going to naturally return to you a list with each of the words that are separated by white space, and it's gonna give it back to you. And so if that is what the split method does, and again, I may be reading this wrong. I would love to hear what you think in the feedback below, but this is all about the split method. We know how it works. Now we want you to prove it. So we're just going to put it into this function definition up here that meets these criteria down here. If the string is empty, it returns an empty list. And so if the string was empty like this, does it return an empty list? It does. And it might be a little difficult to see, but yeah, that is two brackets there, right? And the, the little teeny space in between them but it does return an empty list naturally. Um, so again, I, I read this up here that this is a medium level of difficulty. This should take 20 to 25 minutes to complete, but yet this can be completed with a single line of code in that function. And let me show you what that line of code is. And it's this simple. If the string is coming in, as a single argument, I'm gonna space in four spaces, right? We're following pep eight. And if it comes in as string, then what am I going to return? I'm going to return str, oops, sorry, strng. I don't like this strng, um, but strng dot split. That right there is the answer to this lab. 
This will solve the lab. And let me show you why. I'm going to hit, F, sorry, hit F5. Uh, it's going to ask us to save it. We'll say sure. We'll put it over here in the uh, downloads. And we're going to say 5.1.9.18. And there it is. There's the answer to the lab. Again, when I read the instructions here, it says nothing about not using the split function. It says now, in, in fact, it says the exact opposite. Now we want you to prove that you know how split works. And so we put it into our own little function. That is the solution. So not 20 to 25 minutes. Um, even as a beginner, I would be hard pressed to see this taking 20 to 25 minutes. And this is exactly the output and you can see the B with a comma and B comma that and that is what they are calling for. Look, you can see right here, B comma, B comma that because split is working in a natural fashion where it's looking for white space between the characters in the string. And so again, this is probably the quickest solution, the shortest solution of any activity that we've done to date and my feeling is this meets all of the criteria because, again, they don't tell you not to use the split method. So, I, I, again, I'm at a loss as to what other way they would want you to try to approach this when that is the quickest, most straightforward, and most effective way to solve this problem. And so we are going... To wrap it up right there, I believe that that is the best answer, again, based on the criteria where it not only does not say to use the split method, that it actually says, show us that you know how the split method works. And in the context of our function, that is it. So that's it for lab 51918. Again, hopefully this has helped you out and got you moving in the right direction. Please let me know in the comments below if you feel that there's some other approach based on the directions, right? The instructions that were given that you would use to solve this problem. But it's the whole in the material leading up to this lab was all about strings, string methods, and split was a major component of that. So th that's I, I see that's the answer right there. It's a single line. And I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably the most Pythonic answer because it is simple, straightforward, to the point, and that's it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're learning from the uh, supplemental video tutorials here. And have a great weekend, and I hope to see you in the next video.